my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus today let's reflect upon the gospel passage gospel of john chapter 3 verses 1 to 8 my dear people in today's gospel a man called nicodemus is coming to see jesus he wanted to have a conversation with jesus after he is immediately coming is he wanted to say something before that i would like to say something who is he the nicodemus he is a pharisee he is the ruler of the jew he is also a teacher in that community what they will do all the always the nature of pharisees is always they look into the outward observance of the law they ne- neglect the purity of heart they never worried about the purity of heart they always find fault with jesus in the common place they are the people belongs to the uh, pharisee community my dear people from that community the nicodemus is coming to see jesus he is coming in the night time not during the day time why because he was a same to be seen with jesus he feels a same to be seen with jesus if the jews they will watch over him if he is speaking with jesus they will be questioning the nicodemus they will have the bad opinion about this man that's why he is not ready to accept in coming and meeting jesus in the day time he is coming the night to speak with him what he speaks rabbi i know that you are a teacher who you are come from god i know that you are come from god by see your signs and miracles i know that you have come come from god he is just praising god he is just glorifying god but jesus never answered or listened to his words all these things jesus is replying in another is a contradicting to his question his praising what jesus says no one no one can see the kingdom of god without being born from above no one can see the kingdom of god without being born born from above my dear people jesus is speaking about the new birth but this person nicodemus is asking how can a old grown old people can once again go into the mouth of the mother and come out is it possible he is asking nicodemus more 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 and worry about the physical birth but jesus is worrying about the spiritual birth the spiritual birth it is something mysterious it's unexplainable we cannot think as like nicodemus my dear people we need to think along with jesus the spirit which we will be born it is something glorious birth that's why jesus is telling once again no one can enter the kingdom of god without being born of water and spirit the next step is going without being a born born of water and spirit what symbolizes the water and spirit the water is symbolize about our baptismal birth in the baptism we were uh, poured out of the poured out out of water we are also in rebirth we are also receiving the holy spirit as well as we are entering the community of christianity we are just accepted the christ we are just living in christ we have put on a new cloth of christ that's the baptism my dear people the living in the water born in the new water born in the new spirit it is something different born in the new spirit that new spirit the holy spirit we we should be hold on to the holy spirit that spirit that we we have to be a, we have become a new creature in this world new creator in this world there we should have the we must have the new aim new nature new principle new affection new love new aim all these things should be in our heart we should reborn in our life we should have the reformation in our life 
we should have the need modulation in our way of life that's what jesus is expecting today that's what we read in romans chapter 8 verse 5 says like this lead your life according to spirit not according to flesh lead your life according to spirit if the spirit is inside we will be always united in christ my dear people that kind of awaken awakeness of our conscience is needed in the spirit living in christ whatever that we lived yesterday that should not be repeated today we may be lived in anger in worry we may not forgive others we may not so kind enough to others we may be lived an arrogant life we may be keeping the vengeance memory in our heart we may be finding fault with others we may be always impatient with others whatever the destructive character that which is always alive in our heart that should be taken away that's a new birth in christ christ is always pure in heart we need to have that purity of heart when we live in spirit that's what jesus is expecting my dear people living in christ is something great second corinthians chapter 5 verses 17 says whenever is in christ who ever is in christ is a new creator new creation if the old things have passed away the new things have come up in life all the things that are passed the old things should pass away the new things whatever that jesus is aiming at that should come into our heart and lead a fruitful life that's what jesus is expecting my dear people colossians 3:10 says like this you have put on a new self which is being renewed in the image of the creator we should live a image that's what god created like in his own image and likeness but we have lost all these things by the way of behaving in the uh, leading the life in sinful way we need to create a new we need to create our life in christ the new way to create our life in spirit we need to live a new life in the way what jesus is expecting that kind of the spiritual birth should be taken place in our life my dear people the new birth and the spiritual birth always should happen in our life we should be a new creature in this heaven we should lead a life into heaven that's what jesus is expecting today from me and from you my dear people let's reflect upon our own life whatever that we are having all the destructive character let put forth in front of christ let's change our life let's come back to god whatever that we let let our life which is uh, going to be perished that let it be pass away let's put on christ put on his own clothes put on his own spirit let have a new life in the spirit of heaven amen